Poker is an amazing game. A single action can be aimed at achieving opposite outcomes. We want other players to call when we have a good hand. And otherwise, if we realize we're falling behind, we bet to make our opponents fold. This is called a bluff. Wow. No way! She's bluffing? She's on the top! Oh. And he sees he's got ah. Jesus. Today, we'll look at some of the best bluffs from top players. But before we do, be sure to subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so you don't miss out on new videos. Number 5. Daniel Negreanu is one of the most pragmatic poker players, who bluffs so that his opponents don't stand a chance. Daniel is determined Angel Small River Bet is a value hand that Kid Poker can't beat. Although it's hard for him to rep a hand, he's bumping it up. Yeah, aces or kings? Can I say that or is that illegal? Heads up. I can say what he has but not what I have. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking aces or kings. <laughs> you think right. Daniel really pulled the trigger correctly on that one. And Shlomi's now thinking, if you've read me for aces or kings, surely you can beat aces or kings. I have to fold. If I show one, do I have to show all? No. Okay. okay. I can show one? You can show one. I can show one if I want to? I don't feel like it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I, got, I don't have a good one to show. Aces or kings was good, right? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, that's what I thought he had, but not that I could beat it. Number four. Here's another example, which, by the way, you shouldn't add to your arsenal. This is a hand between Benny Spindler and Paul Fulton. Contrary to what Benny might think, this isn't a mandatory three bet or even a mandatory call to an early position raiser. Did you really think he'd fold? Benny Spindler three bets. Story checks out. Paul Fulton? is gonna four bet with a six off. Okay, so I know I would be an advocate of re-raising Benny Spindler if you have any sort of hand, but A, Benny's not the only player in the hand, B, cold four betting with a six is not a winning play overall, and C, no, just no. So action back on Benny with Bergstrom giving up his pair of fours. Boy, Fulton doesn't look very comfortable, does he? Benny Spindler is going to five bet to 90,000. I guess either King Jack is too weak to call with and Benny wants to turn it into a bluff or we're just seeing a good old fashioned stack swinging contest, which by the way, doesn't necessarily equate to good poker, though it is awesome to watch. Fulton has an auto marked. He does have the best hand. Gotta wonder if he knows it though. Oh my word, it's a six bet. There is some serious button clicking going on here. I'm not even gonna pretend like I know what these guys should or are going to do anymore. I'm out. All right, now I know a lot of you kids out there are spitting up your energy drinks and fist pumping in your hoodies like mad, but to me, this is more like a game of chicken than poker. Who will blink first? Well, Not Benny Spindler, it's a seven bet jam. Fulton has now invested half his chips on this hand. Gotta wonder if he's regretting it now. Oh my word, this is the sickest hand ever. Benny Spindler shows the King Jack at the end as he rakes in that pot. Number three. Tom Dwan is a player with nerves of steel and an incredible intuition. The most important thing to learn from this hand is that Tom had a plan. That plan was to make believe his hand was strong. And then the magic happens. Tom opens to 6,000 here, double the raise he's been making from the button previously with seven days. That's highly unusual. Man, I had to do seven again. I wanted to just take it down. You don't have to do seven. Tom announces his hand. Sammy doesn't believe him. You don't have to do seven. Either seven deuce or a very strong hand trying to look like seven deuce, I think. Raise. Oh, Sammy has raised Raise it here. Up 27. Feels like kind of an optimistic call. I mean, that deuce of hearts. You know, the heart will come and, and Tom could be in big trouble. Be behind. I wonder if he's reading something into that raise size by Sam Yu. That's, that's a big bet. It is. <laughs> that's a crazy bet. I mean, like, Dirk could... He must think he's drawing dead right now, Dirk. Come on. No! Oh, wow! That is a gigantic bet. No way. More than double the pot. What is Sammy going to do here? This is making things awfully tough on him. Sammy might be thinking 
Tom could have aces with that big raise pre-flop. It's down to the two black aces. Sammy's got the ace of diamonds in his hand, and the ace of hearts is on the board. I mean, I know Dur plays takes like this all the time, but this this is a big pot. This is a big bluff. Yeah. Oh, you can't fold, Sammy. There it goes. And Tom will table the 7-2 to collect an additional 10,000. And he told him right at the outset of the hand, I have 7-2, I just wanted to pick up the blinds. Sammy said he didn't believe it. You know something, you made it 6,000, huh? Cool. Nice hand. Number two. This one's another example of a fantastic bluff. Ronnie found himself in a situation where it was more difficult to fold than call, but he overplayed his hand. Ronnie, if you bust her on the first hand, he bets. 30,000. And Sarah raises with a straight draw. You have something? Yes, I do. I believe draw. you. <laughs> I believe you. 30,000? Yeah. It's the way all my relationships start with lies. So Ronnie has called the race and improves to trips on the turn. Oh boy. Why are you checking? <laughs> you raised me on the flop. Um, uh, num num. She bets just over half the pot. Ronnie, do not bust her before the swimsuit portion. If he thinks she's bluffing, he'll call. If not, he could raise. Raise, 155. She really should not be calling this. 255. She re-raises. What? Okay. I'm not used to those yet. <laughs> <laughs> really, huh? 255,000. Yes. Ronnie calls, which means we're going to the river. Board bricks out for Sarah. She has just ace high. Ronnie, she's a little better looking than you. We're kind of rooting for her. Sorry, <laughs> Yeah, <buddy>. I know. <laughs> Check. She's bluffed every street so far. All in. And she shoves. She slides out the bluff card. <laughs> oh, oh my God! How is this happening? I thought it would be. I wanted to stay and play with you, Miss Finland. I understand. <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> he's considering folding this monster, and if he does, he's going in the cage. I don't know, do you play, how, often do you, how often do you play this game? Do you know I have four here? You know I have trips. I don't know if I can fold this hand. I don't know how you play. I've never played with you before. What is going on here? If I fold this hand and, and they see this fold and you have like king queen or something, it's gonna be the most embarrassing thing ever for me. You understand this, right? I don't, I don't have any time to think over this hand. I'm like nervous, I don't know what's going on. Five seconds. And Ronnie's folded. Holy shnikes. It's a bluff! Show? She has ace high! Ronnie, you're going to the cage! <laughs> oh. And the first place rightfully goes to Christian Georgi and his bluffing. It seems like seven and two are favorite cards for bluffing. The Bulgarian player, Christian Georgi, enters the pot with a three bet, showing the strength of his hand and gets a call from Thomas Yozonis. What better move for a self-described mentalist? So, Yozonis decides to just flat here, Maria. No fourth bet, he's gonna play a flop in position. Uh-oh, Georgi's gone full Palpatine. This, I assume the plan wasn't to make a strong hand with seven deuce. Straight draw, flush draw. And yet, with just 12% equity, I wouldn't be surprised to see Georgi fire off because, you know, I don't think he's as aware of these dynamics when people are just trying to play small ball and get to flops. Complete blank on the turn, the four of clubs. Yuzon is still with the monster draw and the best hand, ace high. I mean, there's one hand you can't exclude them from having, and that's your hand. <laughs> so the ace of diamonds in Yuzon's hand is just makes bluffing this a near impossibility for Georgi. I mean, he's trying to tell a convincing story. Oh my word! 
Oh he my goodness. Three bet pre. He continued the flop. And now he shoves the turn for 1.5 million with seven deuce. And Yazonis has got 90% equity here near enough. He's got the best hand with ace high. He's got a straight draw and a flush draw. Guys, people use ICM suicide a lot, but like <laughs> this, this might be the uh, be epitome. Oh my God, he's folded. Georgi wow. has got your wow. guts and shows it. What one? <laughs> of course, all these hands were based on certain backgrounds. Having information about your opponents will help you win long shot hands. Keep a close eye on your opponents, but keep an even closer eye on our channel, and you might be the next big winner. Ah! <laughs>